Omega-3 will thin the blood. Omega-3s will give you certain protection for the heart. They make the heart function better. I'm talking about long chain omega-3s. They make the heart function better and they make the brain function better. Um, as we're talking about omega-3s, that's like obviously our next topic. Um, what we know about this. Right now there's a, in Iraq, there's a high amount of uh, American soldiers committing suicide. What they found is the people with the lowest amount of omega-3s committed the highest amount of suicide. By what I just said. So, and if you take that a step further, the research will lead you right to, like the cholesterol, low omega-3s will create more depression, more emotional instability, more suicidability, uh, less ability to concentrate, um, and more accident-prone type behavior. Because the omega-3s, particularly DHA, which is probably 40% of the brain, okay, is essential. So if you're going to get low in omega-3s, and a lot of people on this low-fat diet stuff suffer from uh, omega-3 deficiencies. I just want to make a point there, is that the low-fat diet, is, I think, besides the fact that it hasn't been proven that it's any better than a higher-fat diet for, for heart disease or lowering cholesterol, or, for example, in my diabetic program, people are having 25 to 35% uh, fat in their diet because we have no restrictions. So it's basically that's what people have, you know? And that's the omega-3s and so forth. And our uh, uh, cholesterols uh, were, were uh, dropped to an average of 159. Um, the 10% diet that was used in, you know, low-fat diet um, that was used in the 1990s was a big break. Their cholesterol was about 173. So it's almost 25, uh, you, know, you know, 20 points higher. Now, uh, also, our diet lowered the triglycerides. Our average triglyceride was in, in the uh, 69, and uh, the uh, Esselstein diet, which is low fat, that was 144, which is really pretty high. And the uh, Dr. Ornish, which is 140 in 1990, it was uh, uh, a 132. So, what, what, I, what I was saying is you're getting a rise in triglycerides with a low fat diet. But with a 25 to 35% diet, you actually get lower cholesterol and lower uh, triglycerides. So we're not seeing a big, you know, a significant difference. But I am seeing a downside because if your omega-3s are low, you're going to have more suicide. You're going to have less concentration abilities. You're going to have less ability to deal with stress. You're going to have less cognit <laughs> cognitive skills. And in college students, they found that you, um, college students who had adequate omega-3s actually were be, uh, better able to, to take, do better with stress for their exams. They had a whole thing with that. That's good. Now, we also know that 85% um, of uh, people have heart troubles, 85% less heart attack will happen if you have adequate omega-3s especially with heart, uh, uh, f not fibrillation, but, you know, the heart's beating a, a little bit too fast and the auricular uh, uh, rhythms are off. Um, it, it, uh, adequate omega-3s is very, very protective, up to 85% times more protective against heart, uh, you know, uh, problems. Mm -hmm. um, we also know that um, it's projected that 96,000 people a year, uh, their lives would be saved if they had a, a adequate omega-3s. That's a significant amount of people. This is in the U.S. And in terms of longevity, if you have 4% omega-3s versus 8%, 8% you live significantly longer in terms of longevity uh, uh, research. So there's huge reasons 
why a low-fat diet is very detrimental. And you really do need to get adequate omega-3s. And I mean the long chain, DHA and EPA. So that's why we recommend the V-Pure. Um, the different companies vary. They, go, they get strong, they get weak, but V-Pure seems to test the best. And it's from yellow algae. I think everybody really needs a baseline omega-3. Um, we know that women have adequate omega-3s. Their kids are, are you know, healthier and you're, there's less premature deliveries. Those are all important little pieces to the story. Um, I like to see people have about 300 milligrams a day of DHA. Pregnant woman, 1,200 milligrams to 2,400 milligrams. For depression, I'm going to go up more than 2,400 milligrams, maybe to 3,600 milligrams. 36. And that, that helps a lot with depression. You don't have to stay there forever, but for a few months. DHA, DHA. No, not pure, because the EPA is also important. The DHA I'm talking about specifically. Right, as I'm talking now, I'm talking DHA. But how would you have to be depressed and rich. What? You have to be depressed and rich. Right. I'll do it again. Everybody listen. The question is, average person, about 300 milligrams a day. I'm going to say 300 to 1,200 because if you're doing a lot of mental work, you want that support system. You, you really do need it. It is really great for intellectual activity and for intellectual stress. That's the point I'm making. So uh, 1,200 is, is in the upper limit of that. You know, not upper limit, but reasonable. If you're pregnant, I'm talking 1,200 to 2,400. If you're pregnant, remember, the child is getting the bulk of that mm -hmm. to 2,400. 2,400. DHA. DHA, yeah. And for depression, you may go up to 3,600 a day, not forever. <laughs>